hey guys welcome to frank's handyman today we're going to be doing a pretty big project this is going to be part one because we did not finish everything today but we're going to be restoring insulation also we're going to be working in some drywall and some subfloor and then we're also going to install some vinyl plank flooring but that's going to be in the second part these are some of the things we're going to be using today with the drywall primer and seal and then we're also going to be using some of the drywall screws and this pink sheet right here at the insulation that we're gonna be using for the day. Before he puts the subfloor, he's going to spray this all around. This is going to ensure that mold and mildew don't grow. This right here is the second area where we're going to be fixing the subfloor. This is the bedroom and the other one's the living room. He's going to start putting the sub floor in the bedroom and then he's also going to put this plastic under for insulation. All he's going to do right now is lay it down and see where he's going to have to make the cuts. Right here there was an issue with this little board right here so he was just going to cut it off. Once he cut it off, he was able to lay the plastic down and then be able to put all the staples on. While he was doing this, our other colleague was bringing down all the Everlife vinyl plank flooring. Once he brought everything down, our other colleague already had finished putting the majority of all of the plastic, the plastic insulation. He was just putting down some final staples and making some final cuts as well. He's doing a double layer, that's why he's cutting that piece and then this piece is going to go in the corner and then once he finishes putting this piece that's going to be it as far as putting down all this plastic insulation. Once he finished in the room he moved on to the living room area. Right here's where the vent is, so he had to make sure to cut around it. And as you can see here, he finished. Now they're going to start putting all of the insulation here. Once they put it in, they're also going to staple it to the wall. Once he finished putting all the staples on this one, so he started making all the measurements and started cutting all the pieces that he was going to need. As he was moving on and making progress and finishing this corner, our other colleague was starting to put the subfloor and making the cuts. Now that he finished here, all he has to put is one more piece in the living room area. And he's just measuring and making the cuts. As he finishes this, our other colleague is putting all the screws on the subfloor. Once he set this piece down, now he's going to move on and start cutting another piece that he's going to put down on the floor. Now 
he's making the final cut that he's gonna put in the bedroom and then our other colleague already finished putting all of the insulation as you can see here it's a little small square here and then the other little piece here once he finishes doing these these are going to be done and practically all of the sub floor in this room is going to be finished all that's going to be left is the one in the living room always helpful to have a pen or a pencil and just make marks on the board on where you're going to be cutting it that way it could guide you here he ran into a small issue with the cable sticking out but it was nothing too big he's just going to make a small hole here and as you can see it fit perfectly now he's just putting down all the final screws now that our other colleague finished putting all of the insulation now he's going to put all of the sheetrock as well since they were both focusing on different tasks things started moving a lot faster And as you can see now, all the progress is pretty much all done. There's just some small touches that had to be made right here. There's just some screws that need to be screwed here. But everything came out pretty well. And now that we finished in the bedroom, we moved on into the living room. And this is going to be the first cut that's going to be going in the living room. And our other colleague already finished putting the first board here of the sheetrock. Now he's going to put in the second one. He set down the board, it fit perfectly. And our other colleague was putting the other piece of the sheetrock as well. There was just some small adjustments he had to make. And now since he finished putting down that board, he started putting all of the screws here on the living room. Right here's the second piece he already put. Now he's going to move into the third one. And our other colleague is going to start making the other cut for the second piece of board that he's going to put down in the living room. Now that he made the cut, he brought it back down and he's just measuring where he's going to have to make the cut where the vent is. Once he got down where it was going to be, all he had to do was make the trace of what he was going to be cutting. Now that he finished the trace, now he's going to make all the cuts. Once he put it back, it didn't quite fit, so he just had to make a little, little tiny cut. As you can see here and then it fit perfectly and all you have to do now is just put all the screws and here he's putting the sheetrock now in the living room since he finished in the bedroom and he's just putting all the screws down now he's gonna put another piece here as well and then another piece is inside the bedroom so he's just going to do all the measurements and do all the lining and do all the cuts. He finished putting all of the living room one. Now all that he had left was the bedroom and that little piece in this corner once he puts this piece down. We were getting towards the end of the day, but we still had some time to put at least two pieces of the Everlife vinyl plank flooring because at least these two parts are going to be the most difficult ones, putting it around the vent and making that cut. But once doing this, this is going to make the process of it a lot easier. Right here, he's just finishing the last piece that he's going to put. As he was doing the trays, our other colleague was putting the last piece of the sheetrock. And once he made the trace, he started making the cut for the vent. Once we got to this point, we were finishing up for the rest of the day. We still have to come back the next day and finish the rest of the project. So stay tuned and keep watching. That way you can see the final ending of this project.